with the launch of the iPhone 6 recently, there have been huge rumors about its so-called bendability. Well, I was lucky enough to nab an iPhone 6 Plus and an iPhone 6 in my recent travels in Japan. And I can, with confidence, report that the bendability of these devices has been hugely overstated. There's no question that the iPhone 6 Plus is a large device. It's got a big, wonderfully sharp screen. It's super slim, lovely rounded edges, and is actually surprisingly easy to handle. I thought I would be uh, challenged by the sheer size of the device, but it's light, it's slim, and it's actually really easy to handle. An organization in the USA called Consumer Reports that tests independently and impartially all various devices across the electronic spectrum did a test in the last few days of all of the smartphones, the iPhone 6, the iPhone 6 Plus, even the iPhone 5S, um, an LG G3, Samsung Galaxy Note 3, as well as a HTC One M8, and found, surprise, surprise, all of them bend. They all bend at slightly different pressures, but what they did is they took the phone and they applied pressure on the center, supported it on the edges, and they found the iPhone 5 and the iPhone 6 and the 6 Plus all deformed and broke and the screen separated from the body at around about 100 to 110 pounds of direct pressure. Interestingly, all the other phones deformed at pretty much the same amount. The loser of the pack, unfortunately, was the HTC, which popped apart and broke at 70 pounds of pressure. So I wouldn't be too worried about your lovely, shiny new iPhone 6 Plus deforming. What I wouldn't recommend is that you pop it in your back pocket and sit on it far too many times because that may just invalidate the warranty. That being said, these are really a huge advance over the iPhone 5S currently. And as you can see, the size is quite something. Put the one up against the other, it is a massive phone. That's the 6 Plus. For those of you that are not keen on such a huge device, the iPhone 6 is not significantly bigger, but the screen is a lot bigger and a lot brighter. So a full review will come in due course, but right now all I can say is the iPhone 6 has significant advantages over the iPhone 5S. It has a bigger screen, a brighter screen, an incredible camera, and it's super slim and super fast. So all in all, a massive improvement for Apple on the current generation of iPhones. But before we say our goodbyes, and I'm sure you guys know about now, that the brand new Xbox One launched last week, and we saw that a few guys managed to get their hands on it, like Fox One ZA, SVG underscore Brad, and Andres VW777. If you are one of the lucky ones, upload your pics to Twitter and tag Telcom Gaming and Xbox ZA, just to make everyone else that doesn't have one jealous. Until next time guys, cheers for now.